Okay, I'm gonna rank the. Um, well, I already started ranking. There's three parts so far. I'm filming on my phone because my computer's not working. But yeah, top five MC films ranked. Let's get right into this. But number five is gonna be Avengers One. For me, this movie just is like the cool. Like it has. It's probably one of the greatest ensemble cast. Has. You know, having taking the Avengers from all walks of life, all different genres, all different places, and combining them for this epic and adventure kind of film with great heroes, great villains, and great chemistry. You know, from Captain America, from Iron Man, to Hulk, to Thor, to Black Widow, to Hawkeye. They all are really unique and different, taking them together to make it um, one of the a great ensemble film with Loki and the Chachari sprinkled in to have great and allows great action and great adventure. Coming in fourth place is going to be Avengers, Avengers 2, Age of Ultron. Again, like people crap on this movie they do because of Ultron, because of the plot, because of the, I don't even know, because it's confusing. To me, no most things apply. I like Ultron. I like the plot. I like the characters. I, I, I don't find it confusing. I, it basically, to me, takes everything I loved from Avengers, which is the characters, the chemistry, the villain, does everything with a little extra and a little better to make it better, to make it... I felt it worked. So... You can argue with me all you want, but that's kind of my opinion. I just, it's as simple as that. You know, the action is great. The humor is great. You know, surprisingly, the Avengers pack a humorous punch. Uh, you know, so many subtle humor, so much subtle action. Lifting the hammer was so memorable, and all these memorable action scenes versus, like, the Hulkbuster versus Iron Man, or Hulkbuster versus Hulk, the, the battle in Sokovia at the beginning and the end. So, it's just is a really enjoyable and good movie. Coming in third place for me is The Winter Soldier. Like, this is, like, kind of that first movie that shows Cap in a modern world and actually sh focusing on him. Or just, yeah, he was in Aven Avengers, but it wasn't focused as on him kind of adjusting to this new world. But here it does. It shows him kind of thinking about stuff he needs to do, you know, you know, struggling to not trust anyone, seeing him in a dire position, seeing S.H.I.E.L.D., you know, being run by Hydra, seeing all these, the supporting characters are just as good as Cat, Black Widow, Nick Fury, Falcon, like Bucky Barnes as Winter Soldier, it just packs an emotional punch every time you see them fight because you know the context of what they're fighting for. It just... It's just so emotional. It's so exciting. So many memorable action scenes between in the elevator, between on the helicarrier day, between the highway chase, between the car chase with Nick Fury. All that stuff is just so great. Not even to mention the beginning on the boat. It's just so exciting and so... Ah, it's like you. it wants you wanting more than you get a lot of stuff I truly, truly enjoy. Coming in second place is going to be in Avengers Infinity War. You're like, you can't find a better combination. I just love this movie. From start to finish, between Thanos, between taking the original Avengers, but two Avengers, the Guardians, it just makes it so fun and enlightens it with so much fun adventure and characters that all work in such an exciting and, oh yeah, I'm ready for the next one, fashion. Gosh, I love this. The one problem is, because there's so many characters, it takes away from other characters, but that's so slight. Like, the difference between one and two are so slight. But, nonetheless, coming in first place, maybe Civil War. They have a lot of characters thrown in between Captain America, Bucky, Iron Man, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Ant-Man, Black Widow, Vision, Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch. And taking them, throwing them in one movie, pitting them against each other is something that could have been so wrong, but it works so much. So many great action scenes, so many different 
fight choreography. Russo Brothers do a great job. I I was blown away by every action scene. Between the Nigeria action scene, between the car, between the highway chase, Bucky vs. Bucky vs. Black Panther, between the chase in the like office prison place, um, between but Scarlet Witch and Hawkeye vs. Vision, between this, between that, between the airport battle, between the emotional, the airport battle had so many characters, and every character had a moment to shine that's so memorable, and of course the final action scene with Bucky and Cap versus Iron Man, and the emotional stakes as this movie, there's not been a movie before that's had fans so divided, which makes it work as throughout this whole movie, half the people are rooting to different people, and it's totally justified, is the big thing, as you could root for one person, but you can't really justify why. In this place, either person you either person you choose is so justified and this movie makes Infinity War better. Without this movie I, Infinity War wouldn't be as great so I give this mo- movie a lot of credit for all it's done. I love this movie. I'm stoked for Endgame. I'm so ready. So excited. So, I mean I said so ready already so so ready. Yeah. Let's get it on April 26th. A month a month a month, a month and eight days. Let's get it going. I'm so excited. Let's go.